Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Aircraft carriers require constant upkeep to preserve their combat effectiveness. This extensive process falls into two main categories. Routine maintenance, carried out daily, weekly, or monthly, handles minor issues and prevents larger problems from developing. On the other hand, depot-level maintenance is conducted at specialized shipyards. This deeper inspection involves evaluating all systems and components, replacing worn parts, repairing damage, and introducing new technologies. Dry dock maintenance is a vital step in ensuring these massive vessels, such as the Enterprise, remain fully operational. Large dry docks, designed to fit the colossal size of carriers, create a secure setting for significant repairs, alterations, and modernizations. These facilities are among the most advanced shipyards in the world, staffed by engineers, welders, and technicians who bring the carrier back to fighting shape. Before a carrier is placed in dry dock, it undergoes careful preparation. This includes defueling, removing equipment, cleaning the hull, and using tugboats to maneuver the ship into position. Once docked, the ship goes through an extensive process that covers hull inspection, anti-rust treatment, propulsion system overhauls, electronics upgrades, and improvements to crew facilities. Every stage is supervised with precision, since even a small flaw in a vessel of this size could affect performance at sea. During scheduled dry dock work, the propellers of Nimitz-class carriers are completely disassembled, cleaned, examined, and either repaired or replaced if necessary. Before being reinstalled, the propellers are precisely balanced and calibrated, so they spin evenly, reducing vibration and noise. These overhauls guarantee that propulsion systems remain reliable for the long voyages these carriers routinely undertake. Painting is another key part of maintaining these giant ships. Protective coatings shield the hull from rust, erosion, and saltwater exposure, preserving its structure and extending its service life. Delicate areas like electrical systems and control panels are carefully masked off before painting. A primer or anti-corrosion base layer is applied first, followed by the final coat, which establishes the vessel's color scheme. Repainting a carrier is a massive effort requiring tons of paint and coordinated teams working for days to ensure the job is done correctly. Transferring an anchor from one carrier to another is a highly technical task requiring exact planning, specialized machinery, and trained technicians. The anchor is treated with anti-rust coatings and paint to withstand the marine environment, involving a base coat, 
several layers of top coat, and anti-fouling protection. Overspray is collected with special equipment to prevent environmental hazards. Anchors themselves can weigh up to 30 tons, meaning every step of this transfer demands accuracy and coordination. Installing an anchor onto a carrier is a delicate operation. It is hoisted by a powerful winch, carefully aligned with the hawse pipe and firmly secured to both the chain and hull with shackles and pins. Teams on deck and below must communicate constantly to ensure safety and efficiency during this difficult process. The maintenance of anchor chains is equally essential, as it prevents rust and ensures reliability. Chains are cleaned using either high-pressure water jets to blast away debris or chemical solutions to dissolve barnacles and growth. Once clean, the chain is threaded through the hawse pipe and the anchor is lowered into the sea. Keeping these massive chains in top condition is vital, as they are the only link securing the vessel when it drops anchor in open waters. Rope heaving is another standard practice in naval operations for transferring gear between ships or to shore. A lightweight rope with a weighted end is cast using a stick or pole to hit its mark. Once secured, the rope is tied to an anchor point, retrieved via a buoy, and reeled in gradually. Though simple in concept, Rope heaving requires training and accuracy, as successful transfers can mean the difference between efficient resupply and costly delays. An aircraft carrier is more than just a warship. It is essentially a floating city that serves as a launch and recovery hub for aircraft. The United States operates 11 of these carriers, with missions lasting for months at a time. Sailors spend much of their careers at sea aboard them. Life on these ships is not without challenges. Endless work shifts, repetitive routines, and constant interaction with the same people. To ease the monotony, the crew often engages in recreational activities. One such activity is the tradition of swim calls. During these breaks, sailors dive into the open sea for a refreshing swim. Senior officers sometimes encourage daring jumps from various heights, with extra credit given for creative dives or cannonballs. Oh. 
These events offer a welcome break while strengthening team spirit. Sailors often recall these moments fondly as rare chances to experience the open ocean outside of duty. Another popular morale booster is the Steel Beach Picnic held on the flight deck. These gatherings feature lighthearted games like golf, sumo wrestling, tricycle racing, card games, and casual sports, offering sailors a taste of leisure during lengthy deployments. Meals of beer, hot dogs, and pies add to the experience. Such activities highlight the importance of balancing demanding duties with relaxation, keeping the crew motivated. Despite longing for family, especially during holidays like Halloween and Thanksgiving, sailors remain aboard their carriers. These events are marked with enthusiasm, creating a sense of festivity amid strict schedules. On Thanksgiving, traditions such as pie-eating contests add a competitive touch to the celebrations. Decorations and themed meals bring a sense of home to the middle of the sea. Supporting life aboard are the often overlooked teams working on the mess deck, where meals are prepared and served for the entire crew. This space doubles as both dining hall and social hub. Culinary specialists, trained professionals, manage meal preparation and lighten the burden on others by handling domestic tasks. Assisting them are food service attendants, often new recruits serving as mess cooks. While not responsible for cooking, they clean the galley, mess, and sculleries and manage utensils and cookware. Industrial dishwashers exist, but much hand scrubbing is still required to ensure cleanliness. Though these jobs are less glamorous, they are vital to keeping daily life on the carrier running smoothly. The carrier's galley is as busy as a large commercial kitchen producing meals to maintain morale. Culinary specialists carefully plan meals around a rotating menu cycle, usually lasting 15 days. They rise early to serve breakfast by 6 a.m., after which the captain briefs the crew on daily operations. These cooks may not fight in combat, but their role is essential to keeping morale high. Their efforts ensure that sailors always return from long shifts to a hot meal, which boosts both health and spirits. Sanitation across the ship is equally critical. Every corner of the carrier is regularly disinfected to protect against illness especially given the close quarters. All hands contribute to cleaning routines throughout the day, underscoring the importance of collective responsibility. These practices help ensure the health of the crew and maintain combat readiness. The process is not glamorous, 
but it is vital to sustaining the health and discipline of thousands of sailors living together in tight conditions. Housing up to 5,000 personnel, carriers have extremely tight living arrangements. Sailors share berthing compartments with around 60 others, sleeping in stacked bunks called racks, arranged three high. Each rack provides limited personal space with a small locker and storage bin. Standard bedding includes sheets, a pillow, and a wool blanket, along with curtains for privacy. Though cramped, these quarters become a sailor's personal space, a retreat where they can rest and recharge before returning to duty. From large-scale dry dock repairs to the smallest daily chores, every duty aboard an aircraft carrier contributes to keeping it battle ready. Behind the steel decks and towering superstructure, are thousands of sailors whose relentless effort allows the ship to sail, fight, and endure months away from shore. From mechanics to cooks to cleaners, every role sustains the ship's immense operations. Here go. <laughs> At the same time, Traditions such as swim calls, picnics, and festive celebrations bring humanity to life at sea. Together, this blend of discipline and camaraderie shows that a carrier's true power rests not only in its size and technology, but in the people who keep it alive and mission ready. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.